Hello people, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to do a triple boot, maybe a quad boot, maybe a pent boot. Well, let's find out. So as you can see, I've got high CR, maybe even a hexa boot. But anyways, that's, that's beyond the point. So I've already got macOS 10.13. Cool. Boring. The end. No. But I do actually have another operating system installed. Which is, once you wait for it, which you might not have the patience for, it's already got Mountain Lion installed. So it's a dual boot. Cool. But of course, as I said, I want to do more. So I'm going to try and put Windows. I'm not sure what version. 8, maybe. Might be a good option. Like 8.1, of course. Because um, when I tried running Windows 10, it had a bunch of driver problems. Um, whilst theoretically... I think does have more driver stuff. I think. I might be wrong. So I might have to go all the way back to 7. Um, now I'll do Linux. I'll probably do Nobrava. Because that's what I use. Um, on my desktop down there. Opti. I really need to sort that out. I did try and it still didn't really work. Massive mistake. But, let's try and do a partition. So, I'll see you so in the little partition thing. Now, this runs really slow, and the answer to that is maybe the RAM configuration, because it's running in 2.8, potentially at different speeds, but I'm not sure. So, do, really not sure, so, that's... So Windows, Linux, and now I want to try like BSD, so I think probably split it up like that and make sure it's like the correct format. Um, can you not have like empty? Um, I'm not sure, so I'm just going to do like fats for all of them. Um, was it X fat? Um, no, no, I think you're supposed to do fat, right? I mean, it didn't matter too much, but yeah, I'm not. By the way, I need to make it clear I'm not an expert on computers, but yeah, should I name them? Maybe no, I'll, I'll do this off camera. See you in a sec. Okay, here's the thing. Let's hit apply. By the way, I don't know why this is... Well, I say I don't know why it's so slow. It's because, I'm pretty sure it's because of the RAM. Because this is an SSD. It's a small SSD. And it was like the cheapest SSD available back in like October 2020. Um, but it's an SSD. So it's probably not even that fast for an SSD, but still. So this probably won't take a long time, because I think once I get out of macOS, theoretically it should be better, theoretically. Um, yeah. So I'll see you in a bit when this is done, hopefully. Okay, it's now done. Um, I did the... I changed the RAM, so now it's got 16 gigs. Um, you know, both the same. I think it's 1600 megahertz. And it's definitely running quite smooth, although initially it wasn't that smooth, yeah. 1600, it was 1333 before. Um, and since then I've also changed these to macOS Extended Journal. So I believe, um, might be a good idea to change these to fat again. Like that, but I'm not sure. As I said, boom, cool. 
the thing. And now I've got to do this over and over, potentially. I'm just doing it because it should make my life easier. I don't know. As I say, I'm not an expert seeing but Now that I've changed it, let's do a magic thing called going into system preferences. I could do this another way, but who cares? Startup disk. Select the system we'll boot onto. Apparently not, okay. Ignore that. I've now got this, and I'm assuming the EFO boot is what I want. Potentially, oh no, what is this? Oh, good. I'm sorry there. Good. Ventoy. That is that little USB down there. Um, USB flash drive. See you in a second. Here we've got the menu. Um, I'm going to start with no bar. So just go all down. Don't get rid of it, or has it got a weird name? Well, I've got rid of it. Not the end of the world, I'm much. I can always just go with, um... Um, I'm going to be this. Here we are, going onto the Ventoy which is that USB down there, by the way, just make it clear, okay, and then I've got no bar right down there, it's a bit laggy, but, oh god, now, oh, seems okay, sick. so I'm going to be trying something slightly different, I'm using a different computer, because the MacBook was refusing to boot into things essentially so let's just do this on here and then take the SSD out and put it back into the MacBook. Of course yeah there'll be like driver issues but oh well so I'll see you but here we are on the desktop. I'm pretty sure last time I used this um it didn't use Calamaro's, it uses it used the Fedora install or whatever it's called, I don't know. But now it's using Calamaro's. I'm pretty sure it used to use that. Um but yeah, see you in a bit. Moment of truth, I guess. Let me start now. And hit done. And then you need patience. I think that I very much lack. See a bit. It seems to be not beaten. I could keep this installed though and try and do BSD in Windows. Okay, I'm going to choose my Windows all in one ISO or whatever you want to call it. So I've got a window just like an ISO with literally like every version of Windows from like 8 to 11. But yeah, see a bit where I would decide what to do. See a bit of Windows 8.1 Enterprise N. So I've not used 8.1 outside of the VM for quite a while. So let's just go with it. So, see you in a bit. Massive shout out for this. Um, just simply amazing UI design. Right here from the experts. I mean, so professional. I need to use a mouse because um, clicking is a bit dodgy. So, yeah. Never mind, it does say it. Thank God. See you in a bit. Ah. Uh, Okay, so I've managed to put the SSD into the MacBook and Linux is running. Now, I have been having problems trying to install Windows. So, I might use my 32 gig USB, flash, just like a, I don't know, 
whatever Windows 10 or 8 or whatever onto there and then try it onto here but I'm not sure so see you in a bit hi okay so I've managed to use Rufus instead of Ventoy since it looks like it was like a Ventoy issue um, like not being able to boot into the actual ISOs so just go wait for it to turn on and then you know select the option okay good okay so windows logo good sign i swear that windows logo is a bigger it's like bigger than is on 10 or 11 i guess and yeah windows 8 the scaling looks so wrong it's wrong amazing so i guess time will tell when i get to the installation stage so see you in a bit so i'm gonna give up on windows for now but i'm gonna try and now do bsd i'm gonna be doing open bsd 7.3 yeah the latest version i'm gonna have to partition again because you know i've been attempting to install windows quite a bit including like windows 10 you know different versions it's just not worked on on the ventoy on the not ventoy so i'm giving up on windows so let me do some partitioning slight problem the power buttons of like I wouldn't say stuck, but it's sort of just not doing anything. It's definitely plugged in, because that light's on. But yeah, not good. Not good. Okay, so I'm now using that, you know, and doing it on here. And the, I've just, for God's sake, I forgot to put the SSD in. That is more like what it should be. Let's get into OpenBSD and try and work out what I'm doing. Oh, good, it's doing stuff automatically. I was worried for a second, but yeah, see you in a bit. The beautiful blue text of OpenBSD. Why is it blue? I have no clue, but it is. That looks good, apart from I have no clue where the Linux is in that. I can tell you, you know, that's a failed Windows install. That's Mac OS 10.8, and then, um, oh, I thought I saw, oh yeah, and that one's Mac OS High Sierra above it. But I don't know where Linux is. I'm just gonna do this. So, yeah, see how it goes. After with a bit of fighting, because it was not finding the set, which by the looks of it is basically just like, literally like the basic packages, like BSD, which is put like the kernel and yeah, beat manager and whatever. And you kind of need that. So I think I've got it all sorted now. I did have to refer to a Reddit post. It was a bit of a pain, but I got it. So yeah, see you in a bit where hopefully it's installed. Okay, here we go. Reboot. Come on. I have... I hope I've not done anything wrong. Because that would be bad. B A D. Um, I've also got to work out which ones actually. Um, got these animation. Everything is that everything? Um, oh no, this is already not looking good because that's probably still that. Yeah, five partition I've still got. Um, which is just like completely broken at this point. I've seen a bit where I've tried, where I've worked out what it is 
that's going on, hopefully. Oh. I think I might have um, accidentally deleted my Linux. Not a great thing, but... Oh, well. This is where I get logged in. And let's try and install some packages. Point is, I don't know what's the package manager command. So, yeah, I don't know if it's like pkg add, because that's what, um, not, li um, FreeBSD has. I guess I'll try. I'm pretty sure it's not connected to the internet problem. Okay, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Pinging works, so I don't know what's going on. Number one focus, and number two, I hate. Come on, I hate V, not Vim, V, Vi, I don't know, whatever you call it, I hate this. Uh, so, I mean, I guess it is a bit of an open BSD problem which is probably also caused by a hardware, hardware problem, but like the way it's displayed, it keeps on interrupting stuff and it makes everything so confusing. I hate this so much. I'm trying to set my name servers to the Google spyware servers, because I'm not in the mood to deal with Cloudflare. They can absolutely get that, have that, but yeah, see you in a bit where I might have a solution. I hate this so much. Let's go, I managed to do it by editing, I can't remember, was it etc um, slash install URL to like an EU server. Now I'm installing Firefox, which is going to be useless currently because I don't have, you know, like Xorg and whatever else I need. So, I'm... <laughs> I'll sort that out in a sec. For some reason, GDM was like the only, um, was it display manager available? No SDDM or light DM, um, which is annoying because, you know, I hate GDM. Um, yeah, I've got i3, got Firefox, and this is taking absolutely forever because it's Installing pre like everything imaginable from the repo. Well, okay, exaggeration, exaggeration, but yeah, this see is a bit. Start X, and it's taken me to this desktop. I need to install like micro and nano because I hate V so much. Like, problem, I'm already running out of storage. Uh, it's i3, this is so cursed. Let's sort this out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, do I actually have um, things installed? I die. Firefox. Firefox. This is Firefox. Amazing. Um, what should I do? Oh. oh my god, what's the. There we go. I went completely blank on the command, but yeah. Now I can do, you know, whatever. I can, I can watch YouTube, for example, on some operating system that no reasonable person's probably using. Probably. Okay, okay, no. I'm being unreasonable. I apologise. People do use this, I'm, I'm aware. But I'm just saying. Um... Reject all. This is quite a clo um, you know, belated website. So let's just put some some of myself on top of this. Apparently, no views. See territorial.io. And look at this. Eventually, theoretically, it should be loading, but it might not be loading. See, told you. <laughs> um, here is um, my coma. Let's write a little thing if I can find my mouse. There we go. Oh, 
Spotify from Open BSD on my Mac Book Pro. Here we go. See what else to, I can I'm going to be using Opti to try and repair my um, Linux partition potentially. So I'll try and just log in and do things. Oh no. I'm now having a problem. Oh, for God's sake. is an absolute joke I swear to god basically when I was trying to boot into windows like when I put in the um, air temperature sensor and an SSD um, basically my keyboard mouse would work when I'm like going into the boot options but as soon as I boot into the actual operating system, it would stop working. Well, only Windows. Now the problem extends to Linux. This is a joke. Now there is another solution. And that is um, to once again flash... Um, onto this drive but this time no bar which is what I'm gonna do because it's pretty much my only option. Seeing a bit well seeing a bit absolute lie it's probably been over an hour so far and yet it's only that far was that forty eight percent um so I'm gonna do this in an uh, a continuation and episode two because I was going to do this in one video, but I think that's way too much to chew. Because that's going to be like this is quite a few days of filming. Because I'm I'm not going to be completely focused on this MacBook that's over there. So I'm going to leave this to episode two. Maybe this will become episode three. And maybe like nine years down the line, there'll be like some other operating system that I'd want to boot. But I do have an idea for another operating system that I want to boot. And that's Android x86. Goodbye, people. Bye.